ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, from the right, the CH-149, Cormorant Search and Rescue Helicopter. Canadian Air Force's only dedicated search and rescue helicopter, the rugged CH-149 Cormorant, can operate in, in even the most severe conditions, making it ideal for Canada's challenging geography and climate. Whether coming to the aid of a ship's crew, an injured mountain climber, or a lost hiker, the Cormorant has exceptional long-range capability. It can fly for over 1,000 kilometers without refueling. With its ample cargo space and rear wrap access, the helicopter can carry up to 12 stretches because of its shaped rotor blades. Strengthened by titanium strips along the leading edge, the CH-149 has superior lift and flight speed. On board the aircraft is Captain Chris Buell from Conception Bay, Newfoundland. Joined the Canadian Forces in 1998 as an aircraft technician working on the Aurora aircraft in Greenwood, Nova Scotia. He remastered to flight engineer in 2005, working with 427 Special Operations Aviation Squadron in Petawama, Ontario. He was then posted to 442 Search and Rescue Squadron in 2009. The landing gear is down as they approach for a rescue. Captain Sean Morris is from Nanaimo, British Columbia. 17 years of service with the Canadian Forces, and after completing pilot training in 1998, Captain Morris served as a Sea King pilot at 443 Squadron in Victoria until being posted in 2003 to 103 Rescue Squadron in Gambier, Newfoundland to fly the Cormoran. In 2006, he was posted to his current unit of 442 Transport and Rescue Squadron in Comox. Folks, it may get a little windy here, so hang on to your hats. As they bring the cover in, you can see that the door is open, and you can see the search and rescue folks inside the aircraft as they get ready to do their rescue. Major Troy Mons is from Mississauga, Ontario. 16 years of service with the Canadian Forces, and like I said, trying to get windy. After completing pilot training, Major Mons served as a seeking pilot at Fort Fort Victoria Squadron in Victoria. And he was posted to Porters and Prairie as a basic helicopter school instructor on the Jet Ranger. Major Mons was posted to Fort Fort Squadron in 2009. There you see the wood being deployed from the helicopter. Yes, it gets very windy under there, up to 80 knots of wind underneath that aircraft. There you see the search and rescue technician rappelling down from the Cormoran helicopter. On board us is Sergeant Tremblay from Alba, Quebec. He has 31 years of service with the Canadian Forces, starting his career as an aerial engine technician on the CF-101 Voodoo in Fort Ryan Squadron, Comox, BC. As they deploy that rope, they let it go. Our search and rescue technician will right now be looking after the victims on the ground, on board the ship, at the crash site, whatever the situation may be. Sergeant Chamblay completed his training as a Star Tech in 1984. This is the 2424 Squadron Trenton, 413 Squadron Sutherland, Prince Edward Island, and Greenwood, Nova Scotia. 439 Squadron Bagaville, also a Star Tech instructor in Cobalt for six years. Capacity 30 seated troops on this aircraft. 45 standing troops or 16, that's 16 stretchers complete with medics. Aircraft is 74 feet 10 inches in length, the rotor diameter 61 feet. Powered by three General Electric T700, T681 triple shaft engines with 1,723 shaft horsepower each. 
Now, can you imagine the view he has right there? Look at the control he has as he repels under that helicopter. The helicopter not moving. Sergeant Trombley is now employed as a reservist with the Civil Air Search and Rescue Association or CACERA, with the close contact with the British Emergency Program's air volunteers and also augmenting the 442 Squadron SAR Tech Section when required. Now, we have two search and rescue technicians or SAR Techs on the ground. They will be packaging any victims that might be uh, situated there, administering first aid, and getting them ready to be evacuated from the area. Now, look at the maneuverability of the Cartwright helicopter as they pirouette down the runway area. This aircraft has a range of 1,389 kilometers. A service ceiling of 4,575 meters or 15,000 feet. A rate of climb of 2,000 feet per minute. Again, showing off the great maneuverability as he flies the airplane or the aircraft rather sideways and then backwards at the shoreline. Let's see you fix wing guys. 